Five o'clock, and it is time now for the weather magician with PJ Wiggins. The Evening Report, Sunday, September 15th, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Our current conditions at 5 o'clock on the Sunday. At 5 o'clock, the temperature in Norton, 69 degrees, with a humidity of 55%. Wind speed, southwest about 6 miles per barometer. 3.8 inches, 2.52 degrees, and a visibility of 10 miles. Okay, let us take a look at our radar around the country and it shows a couple of little batches of rain showers in the eastern Prince Edward Island. A line of showers in some Quebec stretch of food. Ontario down in the Michigan, down in northwestern Ohio, in north central Ohio, down for northern Indiana and down in northern and central Illinois, down for seven hours. Northern Missouri border and the south stretch of western Missouri, down for central Missouri. And another batch of rain showers in central Kansas, another batch of rain showers in North Mexico, down in southern Texas, another block of showers in northeastern Arizona, down in New Mexico, stretching for Colorado, down in southern Wyoming, down in the western Nebraska, stretching in eastern Utah, down in central Wyoming, down in eastern Idaho. Alright, now that is, take a look at our satellite open, it shows. A big blob of clouds in Atlantic Canada, stretching from Newfoundland down to Prince Edward Island and off the Atlantic coastline. And another blob of clouds in Quebec and Ontario, stretching into New England, stretching into Great Lakes, and stretching down to the Plain Central and Northern Plain States, stretching to Nebraska, down into the Utah, Colorado, down to New Mexico, down to Wyoming, down to Southern Montana. Another batch of clouds in Western Washington and down to British Columbia. And the clouds stretch with eastern Kentucky down to Tennessee, down to northern Alabama. Another batch of clouds around Mexico. And another big blob of clouds in central and southern Florida. Okay, let us take a look at our tropics. And it's Hurricane Ingrid. Movement, 6 miles per hour, 290 degrees. Wind speed, 75, I guess, 90 miles per hour. Pressure 990 millibars and it is approaching near Ottomayo, Texas, and can make landfall as a tricking to trouble storm at about 2 p.m. on Monday in Ottomayo, Mexico. Truck to a men will move it 9 miles by 320 degrees, wind speed 45, gusts of 65, pressure 980 millibars. Invest 9 for a movement, 10 miles per hour, 300 degrees, wind speed 40 miles per hour. And travel storm, many movements, 17 miles per hour at 25 degrees, wind speed 17 gusts and 85. Alright, let us take a look at our 7 day forecast goes like this. Tonight, most of Costco is low in 51 degrees, southwest wind about 5 and 8 miles per hour. Monday, scattered showers, mainly after 10 a.m. of ours, most of Costco is higher, 68 degrees, light available wind. We're coming over around 6 miles per hour in the morning. Chest perspiration is 40%. New perspiration bounds between a 10 and a quarter inch possible. Monday night, isolated showers before 9 p.m. Most of the cast guys are in the grudge coming and most of the coast are low on 43 degrees. No wind about 10 miles per hour. Chest perspiration 20%. Tuesday, same skies are in at 63 degrees. Wind not wind about 8 to 10 miles per hour. Tuesday night, clear skies will low on 38 degrees. Lot of variable wind. Wednesday, San Scott Tanner, 70 degrees. Wednesday night, Clear Skies low on 47 degrees. Thursday, San Scott Tanner, 74 degrees. Thursday night, both Clear Skies low on 52 degrees. Friday, both San Scott Tanner, 76 degrees. Friday night, Park Skies low on 57 degrees. Saturday, most San Scott Tanner, 75 degrees. Saturday night, a chance of showers. Most of Cascades are low on 58 degrees and chance of precipitation 30%. And for Sunday, a chance of showers. Park San Scott Tanner, 75 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30%. Peter's weather phase of the evening. A cloudy night and tap for tonight. This is BJ Winsome. You have a good evening with a good positive attitude.